हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ सृष्टि वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू रिवीजन रिवीजन फॉर आर एग्जाम्स व्हिच आर गोइंग टू कम सो वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज टू चैप्टर द फर्स्ट वन इज चैप्टर नंबर थ्री आर यूनिवर्स एंड द सेकंड चैप्टर इज सीजन्स एंड क्लोथ्स चैप्टर सिक्स सो लेट्स बिगिन चैप्टर थ्री आर यूनिवर्स so in this chapter you have learned about solar system so now what you have to do pause the video and tell me in the comment box that what is a solar system very good students sun and the eight planet together forms the solar system now can you tell me the name of all the eight planets if you can write the answer in the comment box very good students so let's recall all the eight planets and they are first one is mercury which is nearest to the sun then venus the third planet is earth fourth planet is mars fifth planet is jupiter sixth planet is saturn seventh planet is uranus and the eighth planet is neptune all the eight planets move around the sun in a circular path these circular paths are called as the orbit of that particular planet so the next question is which is the only planet where life exists of course it is our planet earth now the next question is is sun a star or a planet do you know yes sun is a star it is like a huge ball of fire that shines in the sky during the day time sun gives us heat and light it is very very important for us it also help us to grow and it provide us vitamin d next is moon the moon shines during the night the moon goes around the earth just like earth moves around the sun it is very smaller in size than our earth there is no life on the moon the moon changes its shape every night do you know who was the first person to step on the moon he was neil armstrong he was the first person who went on moon in year 1969 at night we see many stars shining in the sky there are different kinds of stars some are big some are small so students can you answer why do some stars look small if you know the answer drop your answer in the chat box next is a group of stars that form a pattern in the sky are called constellation okay so with this this chapter is finished and now we will start next chapter seasons and clothes so let's begin okay students how many seasons are there in a year yes five and what are they summer winter monsoon autumn and spring season we will learn about them one by one as you have already studied so i am going to ask you question in which season all the flowers bloom and the new leaves comes on the branches of the tree can you answer me if yes drop your answer in the comment box yes the answer is spring season in the spring season you can see beautiful flowers in the garden next season is summer season summer season is the hottest season of the year people love to go to the pool parties or they enjoy on the beaches and have fun on the swimming pool they like to eat fruits like mango lychee etc next is monsoon season it is also called as which season 
Tell me the answer in the comment box. Yes, it is also called as rainy season. Hey, in this season, there is a large amount of rainfall and sometimes heavy rainfall causes flood. Next season is autumn season. In this season, the trees shed their leaves. They turn the leaves to yellow or brown and the leaf falls off from the tree. So this season is called as autumn season and the weather is very pleasant in this autumn season. After autumn season, winter season comes. It is the coldest season of the year and people like to have some snacks with hot drinks like tea, coffee, etc. And children enjoy playing with snow in the winter season. As you all know, we wear different types of clothes in different type of season or we wear different clothes on different occasion. So now we will discuss the types of clothes which we wear in summer season. In summer season, we wear light colored clothes and short dresses like frock, shorts, sleeveless t-shirts, skirts and they keep us cool. We also wear cotton clothes, hat, etc. Some wear people wear these robes to protect themselves from heat. In winter season, we wear woolen clothes. We get wool from sheep and we wear gloves, cap, we carry shawl, mufflers, sweaters. Then we also wear jackets. We wear socks and shoes to protect our feet from the cold. In rainy season, we carry umbrella with us and wear raincoat. To protect our body from water. There are some clothes which are made from animal skin that is called as leather and we should not wear because to make such cloth clothes animals are killed. That's why we should not wear these clothes. Now I will ask you some questions related to this topic. First question is why do we wear cotton clothes drop your answer in the comment box next question is in which season the flowers bloom and the new leaves comes on the branches of the tree again you will answer me in the chat box so i hope you all have understood and revised both the chapter for your exam don't forget to revise your book exercise as well as your notebook work okay all the best for exam. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. And student also mark your attendance by writing your name, class and section in the comment box. Bye-bye.